Hey guys, it's Brianna, and today I'm just going to be doing an update. As you guys can tell, it's like mid-semester. It's October, October 16th, and it's actually homecoming week. And I usually, at least for, for my school, it's usually around homecoming week that mid-semester hits, which is actually pretty unfortunate for most people because they be trying to party and stuff, and like it's midterms, y'all gotta do better. But, um, so yes, yeah, so for me, for nursing school, I have, I'm going to run you guys over my schedule again, and then I'm going to run you over my nursing classes, like how they're going, my grades and stuff, and I'm also going to give you an overview of how I'm doing studying-wise, and yeah, I think that's it. So, my schedule for the semester once again, if you haven't watched any of my previous videos, you should go watch them. I will link them down below and probably have some links up here. But um, my schedule is, I have assessment, which is the class that I did not do so well in last semester, so I'm retaking. Um, assessment, health assessment. Um, and that's like my only like real nursing class that I have this semester. Um, on top of that, I have two nursing electives, child health and current issues and trends in nursing, and entrepreneurship, which is a business class because I'm doing a business minor, and I also have a band class just for some extra hours um, because I had to be full-time 12 hours and assessment wasn't cutting. Oh, and on top of that, I also have my retention class that is um, because I failed a class. So because I failed a class, I'm in an extra class. Okay, so going into uh, how I'm doing, um, like I said, the class that I'm really most focused on is assessment. Um, in health assessment, we've had two tests so far and we have three tests to go. So right now, we just took our second test and we are now studying and preparing, lecturing for our third test. And then after our third test, we have the fourth test and the final. So, so far on our first test, it was interviewing, history, basic, you know, like general assessment techniques and vital signs. And on that test, I... <laughs> So this semester, I really had high expectations for myself since I'm doing this class over again. I was like, I should remember this stuff. At least I should have a better understanding of it this time. And it should already sound sort of familiar to me. So I should be doing really good. Um, I kind of had the expectation of like high Bs and As. And I've been getting low Bs. Uh, the first test I got an 80, like 80, um, with the history interviewing, um, general assessment and vital signs so yes an 80 then this last test that we just took was over cardiac respiratory and that's it cardiac and respiratory and then for our lab portion we threw in gi but gi kind of went on our first lecture test but for lab it was on our second check off anyways for the second lecture test which is all i'm really worried about because lab is fine um our second lecture test was cardiac and respiratory and that stuff once again i felt pretty familiar with everything i knew what i needed to do to study but um that test it, it went about the same i got an 80 and 80 um and i think i double guessed myself a lot second guessed myself so like i knew the material because i had studied it but I think because I didn't do enough repetitions with it, I was just on the test, like, I would pick an answer and then I'd be like, like, it was probably the right answer. And then I'd be like, hmm, yeah, I don't think that's the right answer. <laughs> and then I'd try and talk myself into another answer, um, thinking that I was right and actually turned out being wrong. So that kind of sucks. But I know now, um, like I said, I know what I need to do. It's It sucks that, like, what is it? Um, uh, afterthought is like A1, basically. <laughs> I don't know what the saying is. Like basically, like once you've gone through it, you know exactly what you need to do. You know, like 
It's literally a one afterthought. Anyways, um, I'll probably think of it later. But anyways, so yeah, that's where I'm at right now. I know my study techniques going forward, like what I'm trying to do, I already have planned in my planner. Um, for the rest of October is um, making sure I... Like for this week, I have my note, my, I have my, um, my study stuff in my middle column. And for today, I have go over notes and make neuro flashcards. Um, for this test that we're going over now, it's neuro, musculoskeletal, and head, ears, eyes, neck, and throat. H-E-E-N-T. So those three work really well together to where I should be able to understand all of it but I know that I still need to go over my notes I just printed out all of my lectures um, I do outline form for my lectures and then I add in the notes that she says during lecture that are not like on the outline version of her powerpoints so like I said I print out the outline version of her powerpoints before class go to class take notes on the actual outline and then I also record her lectures on my phone. Um, that way I can go back and listen. I haven't been doing that this semester, but I know that I need to. So I'm gonna start doing that on top of whatever I have here. For tomorrow, I have go over the flashcards that I made. So, um, and the flashcards that I make are for the abnormalities. So like for this chapter, it's gonna be like meningitis, cerebral palsy, those types of things, like neuro stuff. Um, especially will probably be on this test uh, as far as abnormalities so and she gives lots of scenario type questions um, for the abnormalities so to be like a child comes in uh, with these signs and symptoms which would you expect to be their diagnosis or like you know some some type of wording of that um, so I have that in my planner now as well that way I know what I need to do on certain days, what kind of studying I need to do on certain days. Um, like today we just went over the lecture, so I don't really need to, need to, need to go over my notes. I'm just gonna do it for like making, sh I don't need to, need to listen to the lecture is what I'm saying. But I'm gonna go over my notes and just make sure that I have um, all my notes in one place. I might rewrite them today. Um, one of my friends suggested that to me as far as repetition so that I can really know that I know this stuff. And when I get to the test, I won't second guess myself. I'm going to start writing out my notes. Um, I don't want to, it's not going to be every day or every other day either. It'll probably be once a week. I write them out. I'll probably write them out like two or three times total um, before this test. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So those are my plans for nursing school right now. Everything's going okay. All my other classes are going okay. We have some big projects coming up, but I should be able to work it out to where it all like functions together, um, especially this semester when I only have one big, big class um, as far as nursing school. My electives, we just do discussions on a weekly basis, which are really easy. Um, entrepreneurship, we have a big project coming up and a test we didn't we haven't had any tests yet we just have a big midterm and a big final so i'm kind of scared about that but we'll see um i sh i'm just gonna we're just gonna pray over that situation <laughs> and also um what's my other class oh my retention class that's okay and of course band is okay we just had our concert so that's fine too um I have been getting questions like in my life, not on necessarily on YouTube, but about balancing my job and nursing school. Um, it's not so much of a problem right now since I only have a couple of classes and I'm barely taking a full load. But if you guys would like to see a video like that, I can give you guys some tips. Um, what I've learned through this semester, just being a part time um, worker and a full time student. So yeah, and if you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed my little update, um, like this video, subscribe to my channel, wherever it is, probably there, um, subscribe to my channel, and yeah, I appreciate you guys for watching my video, I really do, I love all 
50 of you that have subscribed now and i yeah. will talk to you guys in the next video you don't know what to say you just feel like you're thrown in the scene oh just know i've been there before